Let's do this. Okay, I'm way too excited. Okay. <clears throat> Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. For those of you who are coming from Instagram or who know me already, thank you so much for supporting. And for those of you who are only just gonna to start to get to know me now, come and join us on this journey. So I've actually been intending to make this YouTube channel for probably the last six years. Actually, fun fact, the camera that I'm filming this on is a camera that I bought six years ago with the intentions of starting a vlog channel. That never happened. But here I am, six years later, I've understood that unless I start, it's never gonna happen. So I hope that you all will enjoy the content that I've got coming for you. I'm going to do um, the new YouTuber tag in a second so that you guys can get to know me better. In the meantime, I'm gonna let you guys know that I currently do not have an upload schedule because I have no idea what I'm gonna do with this, how I'm gonna go about it, and when it's gonna be convenient to upload. So bear with me while I figure out what that schedule is gonna be, but I hope that it'll end up being something like a video per week. So what is this channel all about? Basically, for those of you who know me, you know that I'm a racing driver and I'm also a sports presenter in the world of motorsports. So I hope to be able to use this channel to show a little bit about a little bit about the behind the scenes of the racing industry. And of course, I'm going to have limited access to some things, but whatever I do have access to, I hope to be able to take you guys on the race weekends with me and show you all about that lifestyle. Talking about lifestyle, the second part of this channel is gonna be a little bit more about my life from a more in-depth perspective as well. I've always used my Instagram channel to mostly show work situations rather than personal situations. So I'm gonna be a little bit more personal on this channel. I might take you guys along on some of the journeys that I've got coming up in my life. And yeah, I hope that you guys will get a little bit of insight to what my life is more about. And then lastly, I've got this amazing racing simulator and I hope to do a little bit more gaming with it this year in the world of esports. So I will also use this channel to recycle gaming content so that you guys can watch the best bits and the highlights. I know that that sounds really confusing and it sounds like a lot of different things and some people might not like the gaming aspect, but they might like the racing aspect. I hope that this will just be a platform for me to throw all this content to begin with. And once I grow my channel, I hope to be able to split them into individual lanes so you guys don't have to watch the stuff you're not interested in but for now seeing as we're on zero subscribers we're just gonna make it easy for everybody and put all this content in one space on that note if you guys have anything that you think would be interesting to see please let me know in the comments because i'm figuring this out as i'm going so any recommendations let me know what you'd be interested in seeing and i'll do my best to cover some of that stuff Okay, so I've decided, as most of you who are watching this probably don't know me, I'm going to do the new YouTuber tag. A lot of the questions I feel like are a little bit irrelevant, so I'm not going to do all of them, but I'm going to do some of them. So the first one is, what is your name? My name is Naomi Ruth Schiff. Yikes, I feel like I don't tell anyone my middle name. So you see, we're getting really raw here, guys. We're getting, getting into the nitty gritty of my life here. Naomi Ruth Schiff is my name. Where are you from? So this is a bit of a trickier question to answer. It's very difficult for me to say where I'm from, but on paper, born in Belgium, Belgian passport, Belgian nationality, I'm Belgian. However, as you can probably hear, I have a South African accent because I lived in South Africa from the age of four to 18. So that's where I lived my entire childhood. And then from that point onwards, I moved back to Belgium. And after that, I lived in Germany for four and a half years. And now as you're watching this, I'm sitting in my flat in London. Don't let this fool you. This is just, just a reminder where a piece of my heart is. I'm in London at the moment. I definitely consider myself a global citizen and that's why I find it so hard to answer that question because as I mentioned, a piece of my heart is a little bit sprinkled everywhere in this world. Let's go with global citizen. How tall are you? Okay, this is one of those questions that I'm like, nobody really needs to know this. This is not a Tinder profile, but I am one meter 72 centimeters. So I think that's an average height for a woman. How old are you? I am 28 years old. How many siblings do you have? I have one sibling. She's 14 months older than me, my sister, Sarah, and she's my best friend in the entire world. What are your hobbies? Tricky one again. I feel like my hobby is also my job and also my passion. So mm, motorsports is like the one thing that I'm crazy about when it comes to sports, when it comes to my life, when it comes to my hobbies, when it comes to my interests, it's mostly motorsports. But obviously I really enjoy being outside. I enjoy skiing. I enjoy doing like anything 
anything really like active and outdoorsy and i also enjoy yeah just hanging with my friends and having a good time being with family just those you know normal things that people like to do not too many hobbies i don't think okay what else is this your first channel so actually this is not my first channel i started a youtube channel when i was like i don't know 13 years old where i used to upload content from karting races that i used to participate in i'm not going to tell you what the channel is called i'm sure you guys will be able to find it it's quite embarrassing but kind of cute so i'm not deleting it but yes this is my first adulthood channel who is your target audience i wouldn't say that i have a target audience but i would say anyone who's into motorsports who's into a little bit of fashion and lifestyle and travel i think this will be a good place because i'm going to try my best to combine all of those worlds and yeah we're gonna find out we're gonna find out who really enjoys consuming this content i'll get back to you on that what are your goals when it comes to your youtube channel i think that was a question i don't really have any set goals obviously i want to get as many subscribers as quick as possible and make tons of money but that's not my only goal as i mentioned i've been uploading content online for years and years and years but i haven't really ever felt like it was a hundred percent genuine or like you know a hundred percent raw i feel like this platform allows me to do a little bit more of that and it allows me to get my personality across because sometimes people tell me that they think i'm a how do we swear do we swear on this channel anyway a lot of people think based off of my instagram pictures that i'm not the friendliest of people but most people who know me know that i'm really friendly and quite funny actually so i hope that that will translate on this channel because it's clearly not translating on instagram i hope that this will just be a platform where i can share content a little bit more freely yeah i want to be able to just be a bit more of an open book and share more about my life and hopefully build more of an engagement with my audience and serve you guys with the content that you'd like to see. Do your family or friends support you in making these videos? Well, I think my friends and family are probably finding out at the same time as you guys are. So mom, dad, sister, boyfriend, friends, hi, welcome to my YouTube channel, uh, yikes. I mean, honestly, I think my friends and family are usually always supportive of what I do most of the time. So I can't see why this should be any different. You guys can comment if you disagree. The last one is like advice for any new YouTubers. I feel like everybody should be giving me advice about what they should want to tell a new YouTuber because I don't have any advice to give. The one piece of advice I will give is like, just do it, just do it. Cause like you just will never do it if you don't do it right. Like if that makes any sense, just go out there and do it. Don't hold back, just do it. This should be a night campaign. Anyway, I don't want this video to be too, too, too long. So I think I'm going to leave it there. Um, please make sure you guys leave a comment to let me know what you think about everything I've said. If there's anything you guys would like to see, please, please, please let me know. And then obviously, I think it goes without saying that every YouTube video needs to be ended with please comment, like, subscribe, share, do all of that good stuff. I think the subscribe button, I'm going to get used to this, but it's somewhere down here. So please hit that and turn on your notifi post notification. What is it called? post notification bell so that you guys can be notified every time that i upload youtube videos if you aren't already following me on instagram maybe you can do that as well because i will definitely be uploading thumbnails and prompting you guys to come and watch my youtube videos via my instagram channel thank you so much for watching and supporting and hitting the like button and subscribing and doing all that good stuff i will see you very soon